Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Let's play some carnival games. Step right up, step right up. Test your strength and your agility and your intellect. Every winner gets a prize. You there, miss. Care to fa face the challenge of a lifetime? Only ten meat. What's the challenge? I like to start off newcomers with something relatively easy. All you gotta do is guess my age, throw a dart to pop a balloon, and drive a nail into this board with one swing and a hammer. At the same time? That's right, care to try it? Not right now, thanks. Well, not with that attitude, you won't. What? I only barely have three of my main stat. I'm not, I'm not. All right, grouchy guy. Fine, glare at me silently. Back to the fridge factory. You encounter a hobo who's sauntering down the sidewalk with a bindle over his shoulder, whistling a jaunty tune. Well, hey there, miss. Aren't you Artemis? I'm Andre Garfield. Uh, hi. How did you know my name? Oh, we hobos are a tight-knit little community. When someone's been helping us out, word gets around. Well, that's nice. A little creepy, but nice on balance. Why don't you come visit our camp? We'd be glad to have you. Where is it? Well, you just head down 12th Street till you see the lot where the old hardware store used to be, and then you take a... You know what? This'll be simpler if I just mark it on your map for you. Yes, please. He takes out a pencil stub and marks a cluster of little boxes on your map. Come on by any old time. Sure. Alright, in the last episode, because I think I forgot to say that, uh, we did some stuff for the man at the 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 the, ba the the park man um and we got a bunch of money and then we went we found the boardwalk cuz we still don't have enough to pay these guys uh so we're going to hobo camp now because we still don't have enough to pay those guys in an Ocean City back alley, you find some strange graffiti. An unsolved long division problem. Solve it. You make short work of the long division. Nice. How close am I to a level up? Oh, I have a bunch of XP. I forgot how this worked. Oh, I am a fool. Grab that. And now I need one more moxie. Alright, so Swiss Cunning. Right? That's the cheapest one that will give me moxie? Looks like it. I want this one, but... It's that ho obo hobo from the park. Well, hey there, friend. How's life treating you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Say, I never got your name. Oh, I'm Obi. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, Obi. I'm Artemis. How's the camp? Well, it's fine, but most of the fellas here got all kinds of stories about their travels, and it occurs to me that maybe I ain't done enough of that. Feeling a wanderlust? Well, now, maybe I wouldn't put it quite that strongly. Let's say a wander thirst. You want to tag along with me? Uh, my new, weird new job investigating spooky antiques seemed to involve a fair amount of travel. Well, now, you're a pretty cool cat, and that does sound interesting. All right, I'm in. Are we heading out now, or do you want me to wait for you someplace? Now's as good a time as any. Uh, hey, Gabby, mind waiting for me at Oliver's place? Okay, you have it. All right, let's hit it. I don't actually know... It's good ol' Obi. He gives you a smooth nod. Hey, Obi. Everything all right? Everything's Jake. I got no complaints. So why an oboe? Why not, I don't know, a saxophone? The sax is a righteous instrument, but there's just something special about the tone and trill of an oboe. It's like a ray of sunshine coming down from heaven. Wow. Also, it breaks down into the case the size of a library book. You ever try to carry a saxophone in a bindle? All right, bye. 
This guy is in a state of washboard-induced ecstasy. Wow, you're really going to town on that washboard. Yep, I love the fast staccato rhythm it makes. It is pretty good. I'll bet someday there'll be fancy electrical machines that do it really good. Till then, though. Folks call me Washi, by the way. Hi, Washi, I'm Artemis. Actually, I've got nothing to ask. Sorry about that. Hey, no problems here. See you around. I found the shut-eye box car. Probably shouldn't mess around in here. You'll wake people up. All right, reasonable. This is as cozy and inviting as is possible for a barrel of burning garbage to be. Warm your hands. Ah, that's nice. I got warm hands about it. What is that? Not that. Is it a glove? No. Is it an effect? I bet it's an effect, actually. Yeah, so I have plus three cold armor. Grub. This guy's really jazzing up the place. Hi there, I'm Artemis. Howdy, they call me 52 T. Thompson, or just 52 for short. Huh, is that because of the 52 white keys on a piano? Nope. Alright, ask about his piano. Wow, it's lucky that they happened to find a piano for the camp. Oh, I brought this baby with me. On foot? How? Well, it took a few trips. Due to supply chain difficulties, the grub car is currently BYOG. Condiments are still available to camp residents. There are ample condiments, but you don't feel right taking any. Alright. The hobo lady you met at the boardwalk earlier. She gives you a smile and a thumbs up. Hi there, Dusty, right? That's me. And your name was Artemis? Got it in one. Great, how you keeping, friend? Oh, no complaints that would make any sense to describe how you like in the camp. It's real nice. Everyone's real personable, even if most of them are a bit quirky. I'm thinking of getting a poker game together if I can find anyone with a full deck. Ha! Ha ha! See you around. Cryptography. Obviously. This device seems to have music coming out of it. You don't even understand the titles of these books, much less their contents. Well, you haven't seen one of these in ages. Whatever it is. The one thing these notebooks have in common is that you do not understand any of them. A bewildering array of partially redacted nonsense. A desktop radio. A ratty old shoebox is slouching in the corner. You cannot begin to fathom what this contraption is for. A hobo is flipping through a worn book, occasionally stopping to check the strange machine next to him and pencil some notes in the margins. Hi there! Mm. Oh, hello. You must be new here. I don't think I've seen you around before. Yeah, my name's Artemis. Pleased to meet you. I'm Letters McCabe. Is there anything I can assist you with? Why do they call you Letters? I'm an expert in microcryptography, a.k.a. hobo code. Are you familiar with it? Hmm. Nope. What's that? It's a system of pictographic elements that can be written unobtrusively on walls or carved into fence posts, etc. They are traditionally used by hobos to leave messages for other hobos, to mark a house where the occupants are charitable, for instance, or to warn of a vicious guard dog, that sort of thing. I'm working on expanding the system for more general communications purposes. That's pretty interesting. Is there anything else I can assist you with? What's the book you're reading? This is a hobo cold manual. I can teach you the basics if you'd like. Sure, that sounds useful. You spend ten minutes or so going over the basics of hobo code with letters. He teaches you some of the most common glyphs. If you'd like to know more, just ask any hobos you meet. They're honor-bound to assist new learners. That's the Hobo Hobo Code Code. Neat, thanks. What's with all the stuff in the room? Stuff is a little overbroad of a topic for conversation. Feel free to point out any particular object you want to ask me about, though. I'm always happy to be informative. Okay. What is this, letters? What's this machine you're working on? This is an old naval radio encryptionograph from the old Cola Wars. I'm trying to modify it to work with hobo code. That sounds hard. Yes, it wasn't designed to handle the pictographic writing system, that's for certain. But if I can get it to work, it should be very secure. 
Interesting. Ask letters about the de- Hey letters, what's the deal with this? It's a ham radio. What's it for? Listening to stuff about ham. Gotcha. Hey letters, what's in the old shoe box? Old shoes, you're welcome to them. You try to pick up the box, but you can barely lift it. Jeez, what kind of shoes are these? Hand me down boots. They've been passed from hobo to hobo for generations. Probably about 50 pounds of metal reinforcements on them by now. Wow. <laughs> I think I prefer my maracas, but that's funny. Or my sandals, rather. That make the maracas. Hey, letters, you want to tell me about the books? Manuals for various types of codes and ciphers. Meganera, Buffer, treatises on several variations of columnar transposition, the classic Mormon jigsaw, I mean German mix-up code, and so on. Interesting. There's a few old books of, pictogra of old pictographic languages in there, too. Fascinating stuff. Well, it's all Greek to me. Uh, no, it's not. I actually know Greek. Uh, some. Hey, letters. What's this thing? That's a telegraph machine that we salvaged when they shut down one of the po local post office branches for cutbacks. We patched into the local telegraph network so we can communicate with some of the other hobo communities. Between this and the naval cipher thing, this is some heavy-duty equipment you've got here. Yes, well, I'm not at liberty to discuss it in detail, you understand. But secure lines of communication are going to be quite important if Johnny's plans are going to come to fruition. Well, now I'm intrigued. Sorry, you'll have to talk to him about it yourself. Hmm, okay. You got a lot of notebooks here, letters. Yes, all my notes on the hobo code. More notes on codes and languages in general. As well as my studies on radio telemetry, telegra tele telegraphy, and telephony. I think my aunt's recipe book is in there somewhere, too. Did you write all of these in a code? I can't make out a single word. Uh, no. That's just my handwriting. I see. Say, letters, what's with this poster? Those are some general purpose hobo code glyphs I'm working on. There's a bunch of them that are blacked out, though? Yes, well, they're still experimental, so I decided it would be wisest to take some precautions. Huh. Alright. This is a hobo lady that you haven't met yet. Hello there. Well, hello there, dearie. I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Veronica. Hi, I'm Artemis. Can I offer you a cup of tea? It's homegrown, so to speak. You found tea leaves around here? Just about any leaves can be tea leaves with the right attitude. I'm fine, thank you. I like your hat. I thank you. I grew it myself. The flowers? The whole thing. I'm trying to grow some socks as well, but they're much trickier. I can imagine. Can you teach me any hobo code? Certainly, dear. In fact, I think I still have my notes from when I was learning it myself. She rifles through her handbag for a moment, and hands you an old sheet of notebook paper with some squiggly glyphs written on it. Thanks! Obi, you wanna teach me some hobo code? Sure, doll, I know a glyph or two. Swell, thanks. Okay, bye. Do you know any hobo code, Dusty? Oh, letters give you the lowdown on the code, eh? Sure, I can teach you a character or two. Why did she suddenly become Canadian? I don't know, something about something about the way she was uh talking here made me made me think Canadian. Or maybe or maybe uh Minnesota. There's there's a similar accent overlap there, you know, don't you know? Cool. Thanks. We gotta collect all the code we can. Sure, I know the word washboard. And uh, some words that kinda describe the sounds a washboard makes, but they aren't really as useful as actual words. Alright, bye. Wait. Never mind, I don't have anything else to ask him about. Do you know any hobo code? Perfect.
Hey, don't touch that telephone. Royal use only. This phone isn't actually connected to anything. Don't let it hear you say that. This hobo is wearing a handmade tinfoil crown. I think we will find out what's up with that guy in the next one. For now, bye-bye.